Hey there, history buffs? Today, we're diving into a truly fascinating discovery that's got scientists buzzing literally. In the lush, fossil-rich Hindenmar complex of New Zealand's South Island, researchers have unearthed a 14.6 million-year-old bee fossil. It's the first of its kind ever found in Zealandia, the largely submerged continent beneath New Zealand. This tiny but significant insect, named Lyoproctus otagocolets, Barry Donovani, is offering fresh insights into the ancient ecosystems of the region. Preserved in organic mudstone, this female bee measures just 6.4 millimeters, or about a quarter of an inch in length. Despite its size, this fossil reveals a wealth of evolutionary history. The bee's wing vein patterns closely resemble those of three modern Lyoproctus subgenera found in New Zealand today. Yet, despite this ancient presence, Lyoproctus bees haven't significantly diversified in New Zealand. Today, there are only 18 endemic species of this genus in the country, a surprisingly low number given the time span. This raises a compelling question. Why didn't these bees thrive and evolve into a more diverse array of species? New Zealand's insect biodiversity often presents unusual patterns. Researchers suggest that while some insect lineages have flourished in isolation, others have remained unexpectedly limited. The fossil record hints that the Lyoproctus genus may not have been in New Zealand as long as previously thought, or that something disrupted their ability to diversify. One intriguing possibility is that multiple waves of Lyoproctus bees colonize New Zealand independently. In fact, the study authors note that there are currently no data to indicate that the three groups of Lyoproctus in New Zealand form a monophyletic group. They themselves could represent multiple younger invasions of the islands. The newly discovered bee would have lived in a lush, mixed broadly forest surrounding a Miocene Mar Lake, a crater formed by a volcanic explosion. But what plants did this ancient bee pollinate? No pollen was found on the fossil, leaving the species' exact ecological role a mystery. However, Pseudopanax flowers, a group of plants still found in New Zealand today, have been discovered in the same deposits. This suggests that L. Buried Novani could have visited these flowers, playing a role in a prehistoric pollination network. This discovery is more than just a fossil. It's a clue to an ancient world that once thrived in Zealandia. By studying this tiny, long-lost bee, scientists hope to unravel how species arrived, adapted, and sometimes failed to take root in this unique landscape. As researchers continue to explore New Zealand's ancient ecosystems, each fossil adds a piece to the puzzle of its evolutionary history, one that's still being written one tiny wing at a time. And there you have it, a little bee from millions of years ago that's providing big clues to our planet's past. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more fascinating discoveries. Until next time, keep buzzing with curiosity.